Hello everybody and welcome to the new season of TradeStation's Market Reviews. My name is Simon Clark from Trade with Precision and I'll be discussing some of the key markets of interest right now. Now the first market I want to take a look at here is the Mini Dow Future. And uh, if we take a look at the Mini Dow, certainly over the past few weeks, uh, this market has really been uh, changed direction. It's, it's really had some big moves uh, over the past sort of couple of weeks. Um, most significantly uh, last week and we've also broken through all of these key support and resistance structures that the market had been trading around and testing going back to the sort of beginning of the year. So certainly here on the daily chart the market's in a downtrend with a clear series of lower highs lower lows. If we come and take a look at the higher time frames take a look at the weekly for example we can see also on the weekly that the most recent lows have also been broken in the market and also this most significant low back here dating back to sort of October last year. So we can see that the market has also taken out that low as well. So the weekly is clearly in a downtrend and this sort of significant low back in October last year we can see also corresponds with the low or most significant low in the monthly chart as well. So the monthly chart also has now broken its previous low which has probably been the first time that's happened for quite some considerable time. So going back certainly well right the way back here in fact to I think around sort of 2010 around this area here. So it's quite a significant um, significant break. So if we compare this with the other markets which are closely correlated to it. So when we look at the mini Dow or the Dow Jones we might want to look at the S&P 500 as well because these markets are highly correlated. Um, we can see similar type of price structure here on the uh, daily chart but let's take a look at these higher time frames. If we look at the weekly for example this is the significant low dating back to uh, October last year. We can see that on the S&Ps the market hasn't quite reached that level just yet and that levels around the 1800 area. Now that of course means that uh, on the monthly chart the uh, previous low here on the monthly uh, is still intact and the market hasn't broken that level just yet. So that doesn't really change my view on the mini Dow. I still think that we've got a nice downtrend here on the daily time frame. Uh, the market's just recently come back up into the moving averages and it started to sell off again. So you know if we as a trader have a perception that this is in a downtrend we might want to be looking for the trend to, to uh, be maintained in which case we might expect the market to move down to certainly the, uh, the old lows maybe looking for the market to extend those lows to make a lower low for that trend to continue. And in which case there is plenty of room uh, in the structure of these higher time frame trends to look for trading opportunities on intraday time frames which is what I like to do. So I'll start to look for uh, opportunities on the lower time frames here um, looking for areas where the market pulls back into uh, sort of moving averages uh, to look for entry opportunities and strategy setups. So here on the uh, four hour chart we can see that we've got the structure here of the downtrend starting again from the pullback that we saw there on the weekly chart and the daily chart. So probably some of the lower time frames like this 60 minute and the 15 minute here start to look more intact. We've got clear series of lower highs, lower lows, moving averages in the right order. We've got agreement with our indicators here. Uh, we've got a number of techniques that we all use for the uh, trading strategy setups that we teach through the trade station Trader's Edge education program here. So on the mini Dow futures I'm keeping nimble looking for intraday trading opportunities to the short side um, but at these times of volatility uh, that we've seen in the market certainly over the sort of past week I'm certainly keeping very very nimble because it's you know, a lot can happen with uh, in conjunction with the news flow that's coming out in the markets at the moment. Let's take a look at uh, some of the other markets now the yen uh, currency pairs have been moving uh, 
uh, very rapidly as well. Uh, when we look at the yens, let's take a look at uh, Great British Pound against the Japanese yen. Uh, we've had some very, very big movements in this market over the past uh, sort of week or so, as we can see here on these uh, higher time frames. Um, big moves back down here towards the sort of uh, 186 or 184 level even. And uh, again, coming down to these lower time frames, uh, we start to see that there are uh, some reasonable moves here on these intraday time frames with the uh, trend structure now starting to form uh, in agreement with the higher time frames and looking for trading opportunities to the short side. Again, looking on these sort of <coughs> markets, once we've had big moves like this, uh, what I start to look for is pullbacks. So I certainly don't want to be looking at uh, entry opportunities when the market's overextended like this from the moving averages. I'd rather wait for a pullback um, a pullback in price action. And we can use some of the tools here that we have on the TradeStation platform like the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. Combine that with the uh, pivot points that I've got marked in here on the uh, on the platform, we can see that we've got a pivot point and a 50% uh, sort of fib level sort of uh, clustering up here. Um, so maybe sort of pullbacks into these sort of areas. We've also got another similar one sort of occurring up here too. Um, pullbacks into these sort of areas where we might find suitable support uh, or sorry, sorry resistance in the markets and looking for the prevailing trend to continue. Now a lot of the uh, currency pairs are looking rather similar like this, certainly the ones that are involving the uh, the yen, so that's Great British Pound against the yen. Uh, if we look at the Aussie dollar against the yen, we can see uh, a rather sort of similar uh, sort of structure here on these time frame uh, on these time frames too. And coming up to the higher time frames, they look rather similar to the uh, Great British Pound against the uh, uh, the the uh, the yen as well. So again downtrends in place, markets just pull back to the uh, averages on the daily chart and uh, we're certainly starting to get some sell off again, maybe looking for a continuation of the trend to the downside. Now if you'd like to find out more about trading and if you're interested in learning the trading techniques and the trading strategies that we use to trade the markets, then come along to the TradeStation International website. TradeStation provides you with a number of resources, um, many of them are sort of free of charge here, and you can gain access to them here through the uh, TradeStationInternational.com website. Come across to the uh, webinars tab over here, you have a sub menu, uh, you'll get a list here of the webinars that we run here for TradeStation International. There's a lot of education uh, provided in these uh, webinars. I can tell you that the next webinar uh, is due on the 9th of September and uh, that's a live market analysis taking a look at the Forex markets and some of the uh, key markets, key levels and uh, the key structures in the markets at the moment. Um, you can also look at some of the past webinars here in the recorded webinars that uh, have been placed up here for your resource. We've also got past market commentaries and if we come to the client webinars, if you have a TradeStation account, then you can join the Traders Edge education program. This is where we teach you two complete trading strategies that we use to trade the markets every day. And if you want to find out more about these, you can just fill in your details here and speak to TradeStation. Okay, so hope you found it useful and look forward to speaking to you next time. Bye for now.